to create a guessing game in Java. So what this game will be, it will be generating two random numbers. So let's say our random numbers are X and Y. So we're gonna add these numbers x plus y and we're gonna ask the user whosoever gonna use our program that what is the sum of x and y so this x and this y will be randomly generated so if our user will answer yes uh, not yes if our user will answer correct so we're gonna display that something like your answer is correct or if our user answer is wrong, we're gonna say something like that. Your answer is wrong. So basically, we are going to use if else statements, and we are going to use uh, Java dot util dot random class to generate our random numbers. And obviously, we have to use the scanner. So let's create our main method here. So control and spacebar. So this is a shortcut in Eclipse. If you want to generate main method, you can just like main and then then you can hit control and spacebar so it will do the work for you it's generated let's generate our scanner not actually generate let's type it <laughs> okay and we have to import our scanner class at the top so we have created our scanner named s and uh, now we're gonna create our random number so in order to do that we have to create object of our random class so let's say random r is equal to new random so we have to import this class also so what we've basically done is this is the object of random class so if you guys don't know like what objects are so must have a look at that that's an important topic in java so now let's say we we want to create two numbers so the first number will be num1 and second number will be num2 so these two will be of integer type type int so let's create them int num1 r dot next int so what this r means we are creating a number and uh, we are storing it in object r so our number will be so whenever we're gonna print this number it will be a random number so this is the way to generate random numbers using java dot 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 random so let's name it num2 so let's print and make sure that our random numbers are being generated then we can move forward it's always good to test our program like uh, while working because at the end if you get like lot of errors you will be really confused that that's not it so now you guys can see that it's generating two random numbers this is num1 and this is num2 now you may have noticed that these two numbers are really big so we cannot ask from the user that what is the sum of this number plus this number that will be really silly so nobody gonna use our program <laughs> so uh, actually actually just leave that and here we can specify the limit so let's say I pass 20 here so what this means is this means is our random number will be always less than 20 so let's test it so you can see this is num1 and this is num2 so they are coming randomly and they are always less than 20 so now we can work with our logic so until now we have created two variables num1 and num2 of integer type and we have created our random numbers so now we wanna add these two numbers so I'm going to create a variable named add which will store the sum of these two numbers Oops. 
so this add variable will add the numbers that will be generated so now now we're going to ask the user that what is the sum of like i said you in the beginning that what is the sum of this number plus this number so we can do it like this what is the sum of let's give space here plus uh, it is known as concatenation so what is the sum of num1 and and a little bit of space here and num2 so let's add question mark at the end so yeah so let's run it again and make sure we are printing it correctly yeah what is the sum of 7 and 16 what is the sum of 6 and 13 yeah it's working fine so so this is the variable res that will store the value that will be entered by the user that will be entered by whosoever who want to use our program so now we need a if statement if res equals add do something if or es not equal to add then do something so this means is uh, oops uh, this is giving me error because i am missing bracket here not this one this one yeah yeah we are fine so the so the res will be the number entered by the user so what we are saying here is if this res is equal to the addition of our two numbers so let me comment this one out so this is addition of our numbers our randomly generated numbers so if the response of the user is equal to the addition of our numbers we're gonna say Obviously, we're gonna say your answer is correct. So, so let's say if it is not equal to our addition, whatever the user enters. So we're gonna say go and learn <laughs> how to add numbers. This is just a message. You can type anything here. So basically this is our program so now let's run it and make sure that our program is work working accordingly as we made it so what is the sum of 17 and 3 so I know it's 20 let's enter let's enter 20 and hit enter so your answer is correct so let's run it again what is the sum of 14 and 7 so I know it's 21 so let's enter 19 go and learn how to add numbers so this is basically our program to randomly generate two numbers and validate them uh, so validate the response of the user if he answers correct or not so in the next row what i going what i will be going to do is i am going to uh, i am going to increase the functionality of the program and i am going to make it uh, work in such a way that it will calculate the total number of questions asked and uh, it will display that uh, you have attempted like uh, five questions out of which two are correct and three are wrong something like this and we don't have to run our program again and again like uh, like in this example we have to run it again and again like let's let's answer let's answer 10 and then we have to run it again in order to get the next question so i'm gonna be using a while loop so stay tuned and please do subscribe if you like my tutorials and see you guys in my next tutorial thanks thanks a lot